and maybe motivate Kothari to buy micro bulbs. Can I have my slides? He already has already a machine. Difficult. There's a machine. He said he doesn't want to invest Did in that. Boss has said he will, nobody Despite will Despite the evidence which I'll prove, uh, Abhishek, that you know you should do a, a micro pulse. So uh, that's my topic. And uh, uh, you know we have talked about anti wedges PDTs, uh, all these. So CSR actually is a self-limiting disease. We are talking about a recurrent CSR where Malika said hyperpermeability and swelling of choroid. There is an associated RP dysfunction, accumulation of subretinal fluid, and progressive damage. anti vegfs uh, in absence of CNVM, why do you want to inject? Why do you want to increase the stroke risk? Why do you want to increase the uh, incidence of endophthalmitis? I will never use it. Steroid antagonist, you know, that means you're believing that the, every patient of a chronic CSR has got uh, increased cortisol levels. That is the cause. It hardly works. Most of the studies have shown they don't work. I will not use it. PDT, half fluence, quarter fluence, one-fifth fluence, half a dose, quarter dose. You know, they are all confusing us. And plus the amount of money you spend on PDT. When there is an option available, micropulse laser, which is cheap uh, as far as the treatment goes, it does not damage the RP, and it works consistently in almost 100% cases of CSR. We'll show you with evidence. We normally observe patients for six to eight weeks. If it is a chronic CSR, yes, we treat them. Focal laser, we never do. We do um, a micropulse, uh, and we make sure that the patient has not taken any form of steroids. Uh, discuss with the patient, reduce the stress, and then go ahead and do micropulse therapy. Play study where the data is almost out, which has shown when there was head-to-head -head, uh, uh, between uh, PDT versus uh, micropulse, it's been shown that micropulse is as much effective as PDT and maybe more, uh, less damaging to the RP as compared to PDT. Then there was a paper which was from our country which has shown that uh, micropulse laser conclusively has been shown that it is an effective treatment for chronic CSR. There was a 79% reduction in fluid height and uh, there was an increase in visual acuity in our own Indian patients. So they showed that micropulse yellow laser is an effective option for management of chronic CSR. There is a significant anatomical and functional improvement in the treated eyes. Another paper, which again shows that both the half-dose PDT and the 577 uh, micropulse laser works. And in fact, the authors believe that micropulse laser may be much more effective because it will not cause any damage to the RPE. Here are some patients. A 38-year physician who had CSR for eight months was, had a failed rafampicin therapy was treated with micropulse. This is pre-treatment, post-treatment, and you can see the angiogram. There's hardly any damage. I think Abhishek now will, will believe what I'm saying. Another patient, 47 years old male, 1.5 years of CSR, chronic, recurrent, no response to injection of Astin. Malika, this is for you. It works, micropulse laser. The patient, initially, there was, uh, the response was not as good. A second micropulse therapy, and here you are a very nicely, uh, you know, the nice architecture of the macula, the visual acuity improved. Some more patients, chronic CSR, more than one year, you can see how the results are pre and post. Again, another patient of chronic CSR, you can see how post micropulse it works. A series of patients of 15 eyes we did, where we have shown consistently that uh, micropulse laser works. So it looks like we are getting to a stage of functionally guided retina protective therapy. And I think in CSR, micropulse is the way to go. Thank you. No, what I wanted to ask.